I became homeless when I was 16. So it was kind of the run up to my exams. Being homeless was the least dangerous option for me at that time. I was very close to giving up before eventually I moved into supported accommodation through the Rock Trust. They were incredibly welcoming. You could tell looking around that the people who were there were passionate about the work that they did and they were going to do anything they could to help. There was always someone there that I could contact. I think one of the most kind of impactful memories I have is a parents' evening one year. I'd never really been to one. My personal support worker for a time, he agreed to come along and support me through that, which meant a huge amount to me. There is something beyond having been homeless. There is a chance to have some sort of success. I had managed to survive these experiences, but a lot of young people might not have had the same support. I wanted to make sure that they had someone on their side who was able to fight their corner, who had been there themselves, and was going to trust them and back them 100%. My job is to attend groups like the Homelessness Prevention Strategy Group at the Scottish Government and make sure that lived experience has meaningful involvement in all decision-making that's being done. It helps me to empathise a lot with the young people that I'm speaking with, and I think it helps them to open up and engage a bit more. I've been in the rooms that they've been in. Anything that young people wanted to do before they became homeless is still a possibility for them afterwards. Nothing changes in who they are just because they've been homeless. And I have this amazing role in an amazing organization and I've achieved all of these ambitions. Sometimes I do have to just wake up and almost pinch myself and remember that this is real, that I've managed to get here. And I'm thankful every day that I get this opportunity.